checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Then we had the SmackDown show, which had one of the best U.S. crowds of the entire year. Yeah, this I crowd to... was incredible for this show. Well, we, we we should talk about the the December twenty eighth or whatever that date is. Um, the world's yes. world's end. World's is... end is going head to head with a WWE house show in Christmas Orlando, week. Florida. They both got they both got a building booked in Orlando, head to head. Head to uh, head. Yep. Yep. Same time. Um, so there you go. Um, it, it's look, this is, they haven't done a lot of that, but, um, I mean, they've done some, you know, I mean, they booked, they booked MSG twice, you know, right before, uh, AW was going to come to New York. So, um, and once was probably regular rotation, but once was a, a late ad, a late edition. So, you know, it's not. It's not unusual or anything like that, but but they've never. I don't think they've ever done head to head on um, in the same city uh, as a paper or as a paper pay per view or even a, they wouldn't do a TV taping because AW tapes on Wednesdays and Saturdays and they don't. You know, I mean, they could do it. They, I suppose they could do a house show in the same city, but most cities don't have two arenas either of, of size or whatever. Or, you know, obviously New York has many, many, but uh, Orlando's got two and they're. Both doing it, and um, you know, it's it's a wrestling war. It's how WWE's always, it's how they've always uh, done this. So you can't be surprised when they do it. I mean, just when everyone says that like they don't care and and they don't concern competition and all that, it's just like actions speak louder than words. And uh, there you go, you know. Well, this show opened up with Tiffany calling out Nia Jax to celebrate her title win. And Pretty Deadly was in the ring. They were doing a comedy segment where Pretty Deadly was going to sing her a song and everyone was in a bow to her. And the key to this is Naya is already treating Tiffany like shit. And mm -hmm. so you know where this is eventually going way down the road, which is Tiffany well, you, turns you, you, baby you, face, cashes well, you, in. and Well, you always, always knew it. Yes, they're making it... Uh, they're not messing around with this one. They're letting no. you know who you're supposed to be uh, getting behind slowly here. Yeah. So uh, ended up with Meechin coming out and hitting the ring with a kendo stick, and she laid out everybody, and she will be getting a title shot against Nia Jax. We had Carmelo and Andre, or Andrade. They, they had a good match again. Yeah, they're basically having an unofficial best of seven. This is their uh, third match together. Or nine and, or 11 or whatever. Yeah, until, they, they, until they figure out. What they want to do, but yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they they work real well together. Carmelo pinned him. They're two and one. The crowd ate this match up. They loved this match, and Carmelo gets the win. He's being a dick about it, and so Andrade ends up punching him and tackling him, and they have a brawl. So yes, we will have another Andrade Carmelo match coming up, and I have no problem with that, as uh, as these matches have been great. Yeah, yeah, it's the best match on the show. We had Solo telling Tamatanga that he was the tribal chief now. And he said if Roman could take the Ulafala away from him, he would be the tribal chief. And they would both have to acknowledge him. But that was only if Roman could take them back. The crowd went crazy with We Want Roman chants. They were really loud. Well, the, the big thing is that um, OTC chant now. That's that's what they were yes. chanting really, really loud all throughout uh, many at many points during the show. We had Naomi and Blair Davenport with Roxanne watching from the front row. And Blair ended up cutting her off, tied her to the tree of woe, booted her, hit a Kamagoye, pinned her clean. So mm -hmm. this sets up the sixth person they're doing coming up next week. We had a Grayson Waller segment with Kevin Owens and Theory. And, and Grayson's upset that Theory threw him under the bus and got him this match with Kevin Owens. And Theory says, I, I didn't throw you under the bus. You, you can beat this guy. And so Grayson gets all hyped up. He says, I can't beat this guy. He cuts his giant promo on Kevin. And, of course, up walks Kevin. And Kevin says, you know what? You're right. I am a loser. I've lost so many times this year. I don't deserve a title shot. You probably won more matches than me. So this should be an easy win for you. Let's go out there and show these people. And so he storms down to the ring for the match, which, in fact, saw him beat Kevin Owens, or I'm sorry, beat Grayson Waller with the uh, stunner and the pop-up powerbomb. And my God, this crowd, again, they just went crazy for Kevin Owens. And it's actually pretty incredible when you think that it's like the end of August 
And it's not like it's mania season. It's not like they're building up to their biggest show of the year. These are shows at the end of August, and these fans are so into this product, and the they're so hot. into these characters. They're so into these storylines. They're, they're 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 really into a lot of a lot of people. I mean, yes. it's a it's it's a hot. But you know what? When the product is really hot, I mean, I I remember in the late '90s when the product was hot. I mean, opening match guys would get giant reactions. It's like when the product's hot, every, you know, like, and I've seen that. I've seen that with New Japan. I've seen that with All Japan. When the product, I mean, in All Japan, I mean, I, I, they, the referee would get a giant reaction. You know, I mean, um, which is, which is, you know, I mean, that's not a usual thing. But I mean, I've seen pro, you know, the products where the referee comes out and the people go crazy. So you know, they got a really hot product. I mean, but yeah. Pretty much everyone is over, you know, is, go is going to get a big reaction. And, um, you know, Owens came out. Cody made the save. Cody got a giant reaction coming out. Yep. Um, they did a little bit of a tease of is Owens going to turn on him, which he didn't do. So, um, you know, I mean, it, they're planting a little seed there. We had a dinner with Santos, Angel, Lumberto, and Electra, And he basically said, next week I'm going to take the U.S. title from L.A. Knight. And he says, let's focus on this, take that title, send that piece of trash back to the trailer park. So L.A. Knight came out for a promo, and he buried them and vowed to take out Santos next week. He was another one who got an absolutely fantastic oh, yeah. reaction. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, like, you know, he's he he always does get one, but this one was bigger than most. I mean, he was, they were into everything he said. I mean, so... You know, there was always the thing of, like, he's going to be a flash in the pan and he's going to cool off. And, and, you know, maybe he will sometime, but he sure hasn't yet. Then we had the Street Profits and DIY number one contenders match. They had a whole bunch of NXT folks watching from the crowd. Roxanne was there. Trick Williams was there. And so uh, it's a pretty good match. Street yeah, they had a Profits good match. And, and real, DIY. Real, real, real well done. Real well yep, done. this is awesome chance and... Uh, I mean, they, they put over the Street Profits. I mean, they were kicking out of everything. They made Dawkins look like a million bucks. And they did the uh, combo super kick fairy tale ending. They showed a replay, and this poor dude got super kicked right in the face. Oh, yeah. And finally, Johnny tried the spear through the ropes. Dawkins caught him with a twisting neckbreaker mid move. They hit the Doomsday Blockbuster. They got the pin. So the Street Profits are next to be killed by the bloodline in the tag team title. Didn't, they, didn't they already beat them once? Well, you know, they're back. Yeah. Got to do it again. So then the main event segment, Solo and Tama come down to the ring, and Solo demands to be acknowledged. And the crowd, of course, does not acknowledge him. And so he says, fine, you don't need to acknowledge me, but I know one man who does, Roman Reigns. So Roman comes down to the ring. He gets in the ring as a stare down with Solo. And Solo takes off the beads. He gives them to Tama. And so a giant brawl breaks out. And so, of course, if it's a brawl involving Solo, he gets his ass kicked. Roman beats his ass. So Tama comes to jump him. Roman kills this guy as well. He goes to clear off the announce table for the powerbomb. But Solo cuts off Roman from behind. He beats him down. And then, of course, Roman makes his own comeback. He lays out Solo again with the Superman punch. And he grabs Eula Fala. He dramatically puts him on. And the crowd goes crazy. And suddenly... Old Jacob Fatu is back in a, in a walking boot, and yeah. he hits the ring, and he destroys Roman Reigns. He super kicks him. He beats his ass. He hits a running hip attack in the corner, throws him outside. All three of them pick him up, give him the shield powerbomb through the table, and it That's looks it. like the first big match is going to be Roman and, and Fatu, which, I don't know, man. That, to me, is the big one, but... I think it's the same thing. I think that uh, they should save Roman and Fat Two for WrestleMania and do Roman and Solo first. But I don't. And I, we'll see. I mean, they should. I mean, if you've been watching any of this, well, they're it's like... good. I mean, I think that the whole thing. I don't even know if there's gonna be a singles match. I think that it might just be Roman, um, you know, going into uh, War Games. Yeah, you could do Roman and War Games. I mean, I still think that Roman and Cody going up against Fat Two and. Uh, and Tama Tonga for the tag titles is like a gigantic match. I mean, there's there's so many things you can do, and then 
you know, Jimmy Uso has to come back and end up on his side. And Jay Uso has to come back, which I'm Jay sure Uso at gonna... some point, although he's you know they'll, they'll, he's they'll, busy for a while. That that's they'll... more I think WrestleMania season. He yeah, comes yeah, back. yeah. They'll, 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 that one should be delayed for a long... that, that they should delay that one for several months. Yeah. But Jimmy should Jimmy should be back. Re- I would think relatively soon because Roman yeah. needs he needs a he needs an ally. But yeah, overall, I thought this was an awesome, awesome SmackDown. And uh, mostly due to just an incredible crowd that just made every single thing on the show feel like the biggest thing on the earth. So the uh, Bash in Berlin at this point has got Cody versus Kevin Owens for the undisputed title, Gunther versus Randy Orton, and Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest versus Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio. So and Punk and, Punk and, and Punk and Drew those and Punk four. and Drew in this draft match. It's not official, but they got to add yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and then. Um... Maybe uh women's tag? Yeah. It's gotta Maybe. be a women's tag match. Um I mean it's gonna be a five match show. I mean, I don't know it's gonna be a five match show, but that's been uh Triple H's thing is the five match show, so probably one more. The tag title is gonna be on next week's SmackDown. So um, it's not gonna be on the pay per view. So you know, I mean, but they could always, you know, do something although there's nobody else really being set up um for the tag title. Like they could have them win and then you know, do another team, but yeah, I don't see another team coming. You know, they they beat all the other teams. So, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.